Luke chapter 10, verse 30. And it says, And Jesus answering said to a certain man, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment and wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. Verse 31. Verse 31. Verse 31 says, Now, by coincidence, or and by chance, watch this, there came down a certain what? A certain who? Watch this. A certain priest, by chance, came the same way that the man who had fallen and been left dead. It says, by chance, the priest came, and when he saw the man, he went to the other side of the street. The priest, give me verse 32. I see you, boy. Work that thing. Verse 32. I know that's right. I know. Step it up. Somebody said, step up. Verse 32 says, and likewise, so not only do you have the priest, the priest, the reverend, the preacher, but now you have the Levite, the worshiper, the one who sings the songs, the usher, storming up at service at 10 a.m. on Sunday and 7 o'clock on Tuesday. It says, likewise, a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him who was down, needed help, and what did he do? Passed by him on the other side. Verse 33. Verse 33 says, But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he had I wanted to show you three different perspectives. For the sake of brevity, I can't get into the dialect of the Samaritan. But let's just say he was not in the scope of the vision of God. The Samaritans were those who were outside of the people that Jesus was implementing and pouring on before the cross. Because after the cross, Jesus and the gospel would be free. That's why it says that in God there is neither Jew nor Greek, right? After the cross. So therefore, the expectation was that those who knew the letter, the priests, the Levites, those who understood the Torah, the Talmud, and the Tanakh, those who knew the history, the historic background of what it meant to be in the way of God. There, there, was, there was an expectation. And so now that expectation goes on display and you have a man who has fallen, like handed him a challenge of which that overtook him, found him in a place of vulnerability and the first person that meets his presence is someone of the letter. But that person moves to the other side, leaves. Don't even acknowledge I need for you to understand when you see what the Samaritan's response is, I want you to see what Jesus says to us. This is us. This is how we are supposed to respond. 